Hello and welcome here at the Embedded World Show from Nuremberg, Germany. Energy Micro announced today the addition of 60 Wonder Geckos. Uh, these are M4F based microcontrollers without making compromise on the current consumption. Numbers are active mode 180 microamp per megahertz and uh, also in standby. Uh, sleep modes, we're having uh, 900 nanoamp uh, in energy mode 2, where the real-time clock is running and full retention of the registers and RAM. Well, here we are demonstrating the giant gecko running a mass storage device, USB application. And we are using the USB connector right here. It will show up as a normal memory stick on the PC. And we are using the internal memory in the giant as the storage. Also present was our energetic Gecko, who did a grand tour of the event, talking to customers and visiting EFM32 partners. So what we have here is the world's smallest embedded Wi-Fi module. It contains a, an Energy Micro a Gecko processor and a Qualcomm Ethereum low-power Wi-Fi chip. And we can see here that the RTX Wi-Fi demo has actually tweeted 30 degrees Celsius. It's uh, pretty hot in here. <laughs> so here we see a um, capacitive touch demonstration with four buttons uh, working through five millimeters of plastic. And it consumes only four microamps of current. It's basically one microamp per button. Other low energy demonstrations included a graphical user interface from Sega, and the port of Pac-Man on the development kit. A very cool feature of the EFM32 Giant and Leopard microcontrollers is the backup power domain. A regular, low-cost capacitor allows, for example, a change of batteries in an application without losing data and program registers and without resetting the real-time clock. Hi, I'm from Pangatonics and we've been working with uh, Energy Micro on the Giant Gecko. We've been porting uh, mainline Linux onto the Cortex-M3 and we've prepared a small demo. We have a small web server running on the uh, Gecko, which is accessible over the Wi-Fi here. And I can control the Linux Penguin over uh, the Wi-Fi. Furthermore, we have uh, access to the temperature sensor in the Gecko over the web interface and we can see how the temperature evolves 